Hi everybody and welcome back to R&B Homestead where you're taking this journey on me from an apartment homesteading to my land in Arizona. I want to welcome you everybody back and make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so that you're notified every time I post a new video and make sure you give those thumbs up. Today we're going to plant kiwi. Yes, kiwi in a container. So, let's get into this video. So, welcome back. Let's get into this. Now, you're saying, Robin, you live in Grown Zone 7A. You're growing kiwi, absolutely, in a container, in an apartment. Now, I do have to tell you that kiwi usually likes a male and female plant, except for there is one brand, of course, the one I would get. It's Isay, I think it's I-S-S-A-I, is a brand that doesn't need the male to pollinate to grow the kiwi. Also, kiwi takes about three to five years to grow, so if you don't have any patience, mm, I just won't know what to tell you. Probably won't grow kiwi. But what I use in my potting mix is a little bit different for the kiwi. Now, I do still use my black cow, my potting mix, and my peat moss, but I add a little bone meal and blood meal to the mixture once well not into the mixture once i potted the plant i add some blood meal and some bone meal to the plant to help with the ph and to fertilize and feed it so with here with the kiwi did i forget anything to tell you nope hmm i'm getting pretty my memory's getting pretty good here so again kiwi like soil that's about 50 degrees or higher to grow and of course we're inside so my soil is over 50 degrees and again you will plant these outside once the soil hits about 50 degrees and up and will stay that way and usually which is about four to six weeks after your last frost date which for my grow zone 7a is april 15th so i will start growing these around may 15th or the end of may but so these will stay inside with me for a while but i'll make sure that they get all the sun they need they again they are a full sun plant so they like about six to eight hours of sun so what will happen is they'll be here in my south facing apartment and they'll get all the sun that they need plus about once a day once it warms up a little bit more, I'll take them outside to give them some direct sun in probably one hour a day. Now, as I told you before, when you're growing and you're following me, this is what has worked for me. I can't say that's 100% foolproof, but hey, if you happen to have a growing lesson, you can always start over, right? So. Oh, now, besides that, I also make sure that I have my tag because with me growing all these fruits, vegetables, and bushes, I don't know how I'm going to keep up with what I grow. So make sure that you tag them. So I use my Sharpie with my little taggies. These, you can get these about 100 of these from Amazon or your Home Depot, Walmart, and they're really inexpensive and it really just lets you keep track of what, what you're growing. So let's get to growing. As you can see, mine actually got some little leaves on it. Now this plant I actually got from Home Depot. Um, so again, this is the, the, the Kiwi brand that's self-pollinating. Um, it does not take a male kiwi plant to pollinate and grow so let me bring you on down to the pot again so we can go ahead and get to this growing okay so we're going to be growing in this pot here as you can see i drilled some holes at the bottom and i filled it about way halfway up on this because we want to cover the root system 
but we don't want to cover the whole plant and the leaves. So let's go ahead and take this little kiwi out of this little home where it's been at. And we're going to plant up some kiwi. And like I said before, these kiwi. Okay. These kiwi um, take anywhere from three to five years to produce fruit. And matter of fact, I'm going to cut this off. Now. I just did that, and I want to let you know, don't be afraid to prune your little trees, okay? Because you want to make sure that the healthy roots are getting all the nutrition, and the other ones are not taken away. So again, I put that in the middle of the pot, and what we're going to go ahead and do is take my mixture here, and we're going... To go ahead and fill around the little plate. I'm going to hold it here so that I don't knock it off its balance. Now, you guys go ahead and leave me some comments. If you want to know specifically, again, what I use for the soil, I have my email address down there and my website so you guys can contact me if you have any questions or if you want to see certain things that I'm growing. And trust me, anything that I'm growing, I'm going to try to take you guys with me. But again, I always don't have my camera, so, oops, got to make sure, don't not go for your plant and again like i said before if you're in an apartment you may want to have some plastic while you're doing this or some kind of covering where it's at me i just go ahead and sweep and vacuum it up guess i could save myself from vacuuming if i just put something under the plant so there you have it we have our little kiwi bush there. We're going to go ahead, put our little kiwi sign in there. And guess what? We have planted our kiwi. So, we planted some kiwi here. I want to thank you guys for taking this journey with me. Make sure you hit that subscribe and like button. And also make sure to hit that bell notification so you're notified every time that I post a video. So we've gone ahead and planted our kiwi. We're going to have to sit, wait, and patiently three years to wait for it to fruit. It may surprise us and say, hey, Robin, I know it's only been 18 months, but here's some kiwi. Never know. But this kiwi plant is going, definitely going with me with all my other bushes to my homestead in Arizona. So make sure you guys go ahead and hit that like and share, share, share. But until next time, see you later.